welcome YouTube. My name's Maddie White. If you're watching, you probably came from TikTok where I made this beautiful Bella Hadid Khan Film Festival dress, but a mini version because where am I wearing a gown? Um, and you're probably here because you want to see how I made it and learn how to make it. I'm not a teacher. This was my first run doing a tutorial. Didn't explain it terribly well, but I did do my best. <laughs> so if you want to see how I made this, then keep on watching. I'm pretty sure my first clip picks up at me at Joanne's or coming home from Joanne's. And yeah, if you want to see the process of how I made it, then stay tuned. Okay, we're back from the fabric store. We have our supplies. I've got, let me flip it. I've got some tool for the neck, and then I've got a white, crepe, shiny, expensive fabric for the main dress. I've got a white lining for the inside, and I've got that same crepe in black for the cups and this invisible zipper. This is also where I put my disclaimer that I am not a seamstress. I haven't been to fashion school. Nobody taught me how to do this. It's definitely not technically correct. Never claimed that I was um, actually good at making clothes. I just make them for myself and I'm happy with the happy turnout. So yeah, that's my disclaimer. Um, so in YouTube, if you see this, uh, I never said I thought it was right. Okay, so to draw the pattern, I'm gonna use two things. I have this corset top pattern that I've used about 900 times. I use it for every single dress you've ever seen me make um, that just makes like a bodice that I know fits me. This is actually a little bit small, so I cut everything a bit larger than this. And then I also use this dress, which fits me really, really nice as a pattern to trace um, for like the length of the skirt and everything. So I'm just gonna film myself, hopefully cutting that out successfully. And hopefully you guys can see better than I explain how I do it, because I really don't have a method to cutting the patterns out for these things. Okay, so this seems to be my pattern. This is just a lining fabric. I couldn't wrap my brain about how to draw this without a waist seam. I've never made a dress without a waist seam before. So I've done it <laughs> with a waist seam and the lining. I'm now gonna sew literally all of these together um, and then trace that onto my top side of my outside fabric. I'm also gonna pin this together before I cut it out with my main fabric to make sure that it fits and that it's not too small in any places because ultimately I can always go back and buy more lining fabric but I don't want to have to buy the, the real stuff. I have pinned it together, excuse my black underwear, and the verdict is it fits. I'm definitely gonna have to do a bit more like fitting um, of the waistline when I have it on, but I just wanted to make sure that it fit me and like fit over my butt and everything. I um, mean, I can always go in and make it smaller. So now I'm gonna unpin everything and then cut it out of my top fabric without this center seam, waist seam. You know what I mean. All right, and now I have every single piece of the dress and the dog um, cut, and so I'm gonna pin each top piece to top piece and lining to lining to get the two dresses um, together and then I'll show you guys before I start sewing. Okay, so now I have both lining and top fabric pinned together and now I'm gonna sew all of these seams on both dresses, um, basically to make the beginnings of the dress. All right, so I have the main seams of both the outer fabric and the lining sewn together and I threw in a zigzag stitch to stop everything from fraying because this fabric is quite delicate. I've also pinned the zipper and the lining just because I wanted to be able to try it on and make a few tweaks to the fit. And now, this is a weird angle, now I'm gonna press all of these seams and press this fabric and then come back to show you how I'm gonna do the neckline and the zipper. Okay, next up, I have pinned um, the necklines of both the lining and the outside together, um, outside's facing out. Um, I'm now gonna try and cut the cups and add in the mesh before I sew the neckline so it's all inside, hopefully. I'll be able to explain better when I cut out the other things. Now I have four of these little cup pieces, I'll show you. Cut four of these cups, I'm gonna sew them together two and two um, inside out and then flip them around to make the cups of the dress. I'm actually only sewing one edge together because you're not gonna see this edge, I'm probably gonna cut it off. You just need this part. 
Um, so this is what it looks like on the inside. I just sew it along here and then flip it inside out. Okay, so um, scratch the plan of trying to, I'm sitting on it, trying to add the cups um, inside so that you can't see the seam. Um, can't work it out. My brain can't do that maths. I see that hers isn't top stitched, which means that whatever couture atelier made this for Bella Hadid worked out, which makes sense because they are a designer. I am a girl who watched a few YouTube tutorials. So I'm just gonna sew this neckline together. I've already done the sides. Um, as you can see, just like sewed it inside out, flip it over. So I'm just gonna sew the whole neckline together, the lining to the top piece of fabric. And then I'm gonna add these cups underneath afterwards. I'll show you when they're pinned. Okay, as you can see, I have the black cups added. Um, they're just pinned on for now because I still have to lay my tool over top, which is my next job. Um, there is a little bit of excess that I'm gonna trim off later, but I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. And I'm gonna show you how I gather the tool in a sec. So to gather the tool, I've been putting my machine on negative three um, thread tension and then my thread length all the way up. And then I just sew along the edge of the tool, sewn all the way along the edge of this piece of tool. And then I grab one of the strings that's come off the other end. Don't look at my nails, it's really embarrassing. Um, and pull, and this such cinch. I only have one hand free. I figured maybe I can show you this way because then I don't need two hands. I have one string here. I have now switched my dressing gown. It's that late at night. Um, and I am pulling on one of the strings, um, basically the top thread from the machine and gathering the tool along that piece of thread like so, and the tool should start to gather. I have the whole piece of tool gathered into um, something that should look a little bit like this. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the side that I've already done. Um, I have pinned the cup and the tool. Oh, I need to tuck that in better, I'll do it in a sec. Um, I have pinned the cup and the tool to the neckline of the dress and now I'm just gonna go along and top stitch along here to attach them both, trim the excess and add a zigzag stitch on this cup and it will look like this. Okay, and the top part, the neckline is done. So now all I have to do is put the zipper in the back and hem the thing and we're done. So I'm gonna insert the zipper. I couldn't even begin to fathom doing teaching you guys how to do that so I'm just gonna link below um, in the text box um, a tutorial to someone who will actually te teach you how to install a zipper so that I don't have to and you don't have to suffer through me trying to explain it. Zipper is in. It looks great. Beautiful. It's just an invisible zipper. So now all I have to do is throw the hem in there. I'm just gonna do a rolled hem. Apparently, according to someone on TikTok, if I use a longer stitch, um, it won't gather or pucker on delicate fabric. So I'm gonna try that. Um, so I'm just gonna throw a rolled hem in both the lining portion and the top portion, and then it will be done. And I'll do my big reveal tomorrow because it is half past 11 at night and I am exhausted. So the sooner this gets wrapped up, the better. But it looks great. This is the front. Looks pretty close to hers. All right, and this is the preview. This is she. Pretty happy with it. I think I'll like it better when I've done my like hair and makeup in the morning. Um, I have been watching this reality show all day while I made this and I'm now obsessed. It's called Chrisley Knows Best and uh, uh, it's my new favorite. I love it. Um, but yeah, this is the dress all done, hemmed. I'm really happy with it. This is it from up close. This like needs like a little bit of like finagling once I have it on for my reveal. But yeah, this is it. It's like a low back, really cute, really pretty. Um, yeah. And this is it. This is the final dress with all my hair and makeup done. I am so thrilled with how it turned out. I will insert a clip of a TikTok of it all done also. Um, thank you guys so much for watching my first tutorial. I definitely learned a lot filming this. So hopefully my next one <laughs> will be a lot better. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more of these like tutorials of how I make these little dresses. Thanks for watching, bye.